So we're looking at heights of men in the U.S. The bean um, is 69 inches. Standard deviation is three. And we're gonna. It, it, it's asking about take somebody who's five foot eight, five foot eight inches, and what can we say? Like they're they're taller. That this man is taller than what percent of the population, and shorter than what percent of the population. But I'm just gonna take a few minutes and beat this to death so we all understand and we get a chance to review this real quick here. So I just want everyone to draw a little normal curve like that. And then we're going to um, take the center of it and go down and that is 69 inches, right? And the first thing we need to understand is, and, and by the way, that's, isn't that five foot nine because there's um, there's uh, uh, 12 inches in a foot, right? So the first thing we need to understand is that 50% of men are taller than 5 foot 9 and 50% are shorter. If you're taller than 5 foot 9, you're above average. And if you're shorter than 5 foot 9, you're below average. Are we clear on that? Right. Does that, that make sense then? Yeah, it does. Cool. And um, I'm going to go up. <clears throat> this is about two standard deviations up at the tail. And this is about two standard deviations down. So I'm going to go up one standard deviation. And each standard deviation is three inches. So I'm just going to go 69 plus 3, 72. And then I'm going to 72 plus 3 is 75. All right. And this, see, see one, see, see, uh, uh, what is it? Twelve times six is seventy-two inches. So that's six foot. Seventy-two inches is six foot. So se seventy-five. So this is six foot here, right? Six foot, and then seventy-five is six foot three inches, right? And so that's two standard deviations up. Then I'm going to go down one standard deviation. Uh, so 69 minus 3 is 66, and that would be 5 foot 6 inches. And I'm going to go down another, another 3 inches to 63, and that's 5 foot 3 inches. And just to beat this to death, I want you all to see that uh, and remember that 95% um, of men have heights within two standard deviations of the mean and it's always like that 95 percent of men have heights between five foot three inches and six foot three inches right and so that's the 95 percent rule in fact and, and there's a 68 percent rule as well which is that um 68 percent of of men have heights within one standard deviation of the mean so 68 percent of men of heights that are between uh, five foot six and six foot, right? Uh, six foot, sorry. All right. So that's just to, to, to really understand what's going on. Now, to look at somebody with five foot eight, first of all, let's convert that to inches. So five times 12 gives us 60. And 60 plus 8 is 68 inches, right? So that's like our x value. And to, we, but we've, we've got to, to, to figure out if somebody's 5 foot 8, what does, how, where are they relative to the population? We need our z table from page uh, 376, right? So um, I'm going to go find the z-score. Now the z-score is x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So that's 68 minus 69 over 15. So, no, 3. <laughs> Thinking about the last problem. Over 3, sorry. And that gives us negative 1 over 3 which is negative 0 0.333. Um, and now we use our, our table to find our percentile for that, right? 
But um, just to beat this to that, the z-score means it's, it's a number of standard deviations above or below the mean. So that's negative about 0 0.3 standard deviations below the mean. So again, at the mean, that's, that's like zero standard deviations. Um, so six, you know, uh, 70. So, so if we think about z-scores, right? They're the standard deviation. So 72 is one standard deviation above the mean. 75 is two standard deviations above the mean. 66 inches is one below. 63 inches is two below, right? Um, and so this negative 0 0.3 is going to be a little below zero. And that that's and that's exactly where our 68 is. It's, it's just about here, right? 68, and it corresponds to about... Um, negative 0 0.3 um, uh, for the z-score, right? And so here's our our man of height, 5 foot 8, and we want to figure out, you know, what percent is he above? And we're, all, we're also going to figure out what percent is he below. And, and we use the, um, we use the uh, table for that, right? So, and sometimes students forget, well, what's the table telling us? Well, this is definitely less than 50%, right? For one thing. And if you look up the table, it's going to say, when we, we go, Z is negative 0 0.3, and that corresponds to 38.21. And let me show that table a little clearer. Um, now, we don't have negative 0 0.3, we have negative 0 0.3, and that's about 38.21. Can you see that? I'm going to round that to 38%, just so I can speak English. And 38.21 uh, is just a mouthful, and it's a, it's a, it's an estimate anyway. This whole thing is an estimate, so we're just going to say about 38%, right? So the guy's five foot eight. That's 68 inches, and that's above about 38% of the population, right? So so then the question is. What percent is he below? Like, like what percent of the population is taller? 62%. Good. 62%. Because they add to 100. Because the total area under the curve is 100%. Right? So for everyone watching from home, 38 plus 62 will give us 100%. Right? Or you could have gone, you know, 100 minus 38 to give 62. Right? So... The guy is taller than 38% of U.S. men and shorter than 62%, right? Yep. And so back to the question, what percentage of men are shorter than 5A? That would be our 38%. And what percentage of men are taller? That would be 62, right? Yeah. Perfect.